Yo, 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 welcome to another episode of Critical Trigger. It's your boy Wolf. Uh, this time I'm coming to you solo. Usually I have guests, but this time around, um, I just wanted to get this one out here, get the ball rolling, because we're going to have a, a very special edition with guests um, for the next one. But I think this might be our first Critical Trigger of the year. Pretty sure it is. Um, yeah. So, in in game news, we just got Link Joker as well as Revengers. We're about a week into them. Um, been seeing them all over the ladder. Uh, we also got upgrades to Nova Grappler and Gold Paladins. With Gold Paladins, you get a couple of um, new double R's, and the newest triple R is Garmore. With the Novas, I'm not completely sure what all they got new, but it's seeming like just the reverse ethic busters is the big thing but they've been in terms of power i've been consistently taking down link joker you know if you just i i'm in for perspective i'm running gold paladins i am usually sniping their back row with my blaster blade liberators making sure i take out both their front rows and then slowly pushing and putting up steady uh grade twos until they hit their limit break then i only use one side of um my rear guard circles leaving the other side open so that when they lock they're not locking both of my front row rear guard spots just the one and then i'm consistently beating them with that strategy i am i go back and forth with revengers that them being able to swing four times now is really uh taxing on a deck that can't consistently stack his pgs like golds, I still find that to be a huge weakness of golds. You know, even though it's my main, it is one of my main clans. But that being said, I know that that is just a huge weakness that you just don't get PGs a lot and consistently. Um, Nova Grapplers has been smacking me silly. Uh, I'm not even once I hit two damage, I'm not safe. I don't feel safe, and uh, they definitely been uh just really mushing my face in on the ladder, but. We did make it to uh, Legend Rank 11, so we got our third copy of Blaster Dark off of that, because I got two from the packs. I'll talk about my pack pools in a second. Um, There's the Halloween event going on right now, so if you're interested in other skins for uh, the... Not good with names, but, you know, the red-haired, spiky kid, you play Narukami with, and uh, blue-haired, um, Corrin's friend from the idol group. You could get alternate uh, skins for them, and as well as gems. There is the team fight. The team fight. Well, actually, we got, we got teams introduced, in-game teams introduced. Uh, maximum amount of members, 30. You can get on a team with your friends or a bunch of randoms. You can set it to where it's open or invite only. And pretty much everybody been stacking up these teams so that they can get these uh, challenges out the way where you have to do friend fights while you're on the team, within the team. And the friend fight challenges give you a black circle material to then go exchange at the shop for either a triple R link joker unit. Or you could just get booster packs with your units if you have all of those uh, triple R units from that Link Joker. And I think the booster packs just consist of the banner. I don't know if it's specifically Link Joker. I haven't opened it yet, but that's pretty much what you can do uh, there. And so teams, new banner. Uh, We're on the last week right now of this season with the reward being Blaster Dark Revenger. So, and as well as the Shadows um, Raid Up banner is coming. So, I think at this, like after this is all said and done, everybody's going to have a complete Revengers uh, list or as close to complete as you can be. I definitely do see some people uh, playing the mains. I personally don't have the main, so my list would have to play without the main. I don't know what the most optimal build is, but. Throughout all the Discord servers and the Reddits, I'm sure there is an accurate, this is the list you should aim for out there. I'm just not privy to it. Um, I think that's just about it as far as in-game news. 
out game news or <laughs> outer game news. I don't know what to really call it. So we'll just call it out the game news. Um, it's been a lot of tournaments, it's been a lot of a lot of events happening on the the, the global Discord servers. Um, I myself have still been consistently doing the circuit. We are on approaching week number thirty. Week number thirty is going to be uh this Thursday because this I'm recording this podcast on the eighth of February and it should be out on the eighth of February and I will. I am pushing the circuit this week from Friday to I'm actually bringing it forward to Thursday. So week 30 circuit will be Thursday, 7 p.m. CST. I am I've already filled out the application for Bushy Road Prize Support. So hopefully it'll be Bushy Road Prize Support. So if you are a first time listener, you just stumbled onto this and you somehow managed to not find me annoying and make it to the six minute mark, then I am hosting that circuit and some links somewhere to get in contact with myself or my discord should be in a description um somewhere otherwise it's with the legend on with the legend 8172 on discord and with the legend one on twitch and with the legend on youtube so yeah circuit thursday Friday is going to be the grand championship match of Clan Battles Season 2 between TOF and VOCB. Both the teams have been, they fought their hearts out this season. They they made it through the ringer. They are the last two teams remaining. Um, this is actually a rematch pretty much from Season 1 where TOF and VOCB went the distance. VOCB pushing TOF to one deck but not quite getting it done. TOF holding on and coming out with the dub then so i know vocb is going to be looking for revenge my analysis vocb seems to be uh real prepared uh, very serious and very diligent in how they've been approaching each week each match and uh each series so they they are they're looking good they're looking in rare form it's definitely the better vocb team as far as mindset goes than the previous season in my opinion so this is going to be interesting to see how they perform now on the on the big stage the biggest stage meanwhile tof uh they're tof right they are just a elite group of of vanguard players who even if you could game plan for them they just do what they do well they always uh, have a, 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 like, they don't just do anything for no reason. They're always thinking out cerebral. They're always just coming up with new ways to stay alive, whether it's damage denying or whether it's taking out rear guards on the circle. They'll do whatever they got to do to stay alive and give themselves the best shot. They're not just going to, they're not going to take you, they're not going to do the regular thing that's to be expected from a regular player because they're not regular players. They're going to do some things that may not make sense to myself as a caster, you as the viewer, but I always give TOF players the benefit of the doubt saying, look, <laughs> they got more accolades than than I could ever dream of, and so they are just elite. They're elite. So it's going to be the well-prepared going up against an undefeated elite TOF team. This is going to be a, a battle for the ages. This season two of Clan Battles has been amazing. It's been our biggest season so far with 11 teams. Biggest prize pool so far with $165. Season three is coming up. So if you're interested in a team oriented Vanguard event that spans about two months, this we're on our ninth week here going into the championship battle. So it's about two months and one week, one match a week. Um, plus playoffs so yeah that's uh, you know if you're interested in that definitely uh hit me up about that we have already started our pre-registration for season three and it is going to be it's already looking like it's going to be bigger than season two and it's our prize pods already looking like it's going to be bigger than season two as well so if you just want the team uh camaraderie and the intense matches in the format because the format is also uh something very different for vanguard um so yeah if you like that come on over if you just want the money and you just all about the dollars we got that too so come on over 
other tournament news outside myself um the qk server has been hosting tournaments as well um i believe now they are doing a series where each month is a special tournament this past month i was fortunate enough to be able to cold cast the double dragon tournament where you can only use narukami and kagero this coming up tournament i'll be streaming myself and hopefully cold casting it as well with uh kokorin tcg shouts out to him He's capping on a 6-3, by the way. I don't believe he's 6-3. We'll find that out one day for real, though. But um, this coming up tournament is going to be is hosted by QK Server. So to sign up and all the information is on their server, I'm I'm going to be streaming it and then co-casting it, like I said, with Coco. I think it's all Paladins. So I think that leaves just, what, Golds and uh, Shadows and Royals, I think. I think, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, that's going to be the tournament this month the special tournament i'm and there's also the coco cup weeklies on sundays as well as the other tournaments that they run throughout the week so you definitely want to be on qk server if you want uh consistent and daily tournaments there's also another team tournament that i think runs slightly faster i think it's only about a month uh span is what it takes up one match a week the uh mmm tournament hosted by the morikawa server um that's a team event i think all players uh go at it at the same time the team that wins the most out of that uh takes it for that week they got a playoffs as well followed by the chip and so yeah it's it's a lot of things going on in terms of just outer vanguard We've also got some new tournament organizers coming to the scene. There's been a lot of, uh, we got the Shark League out there now. If anybody knows Limited Knowledge on Twitch or Shark in the Discords, he has started his um, Vanguard League, his little tournament uh, his tournament series where um, he's offering up, I believe, some prizes as well. And it was, I, they did one heck of a stream the other night. Got a shout out to him. He was co-casting it with Coco. Uh one heck of a stream, entertaining, uh, good chat engagement, intense matches. So, you know, if, if you ever find yourself bored with nothing to do and maybe you got tired of climbing ladder, you can obviously just chill out in some of these uh, streams and during the tournaments especially and just interact. And it's really a fun time. So there's the Shark League, I believe, Dops or D. Evil. He's also known as, has been running some tournaments as well hell's kitchen i believe uh you can also find out that in the qk server so if you're seeing a theme here you're gonna want to be in the qk server as well as well as mine i'm going to be looking to try to amp up um my tournaments on the den but i'm gonna do it a little differently and maybe put the power into uh some other people's hands we will we will see we will see um but i definitely got some ideas cooking up um and i think that just about covers it for outer game news other than that uh personal news school has been kicking my butt (laughs) so if you're wondering why you haven't seen many uploads of critical trigger or youtube videos even just the tournament winnings i I do gotta get better at that but school has been kicking my butt um i've been diverting more of my time and energy to school i'm on my last semester so i'm really not trying to drop the ball with that but i'm also not trying to neglect uh anybody that's been invested in a uh, part of the community that i've been communities that i've been a part of that i've helped create or and just you know interested in the content i put out not trying to neglect anybody at all so i still do the weekly tournament you can usually catch me over at twitch i'm usually live i've started um streaming uh more consistently throughout the weekend it's looking like i'm a weekend andy but hey streaming through the weekend is is just so far what's been able to work the best for me so you can always catch me then um otherwise yeah be on the lookout for the next episode of critical trigger where hopefully we will have the leader of the winning team from clan battles and we'll get the we'll get the in-depth scoop as well as a more uh detailed vision for what is to come in clan battle season three hopefully you enjoyed this uh quick update on vanguard quick update on tournament scene and quick update on just myself my content and uh some of the things that i'm doing 
and hope you all have a good day have a good week and i'll catch you next time